Right, so this is one of two cheater-themed replays I found in my CNC archives the other day. Uh, this is going to feature me, Nate, uh, this is Nick, and our adversaries are going to be Drunk23, uh, IC, and Purple is Lucky in some numbers. All right, so the focus of this cheating that's happening uh, starts with Drunk23. So I'm going to explain the situation while we've watched the bulldozer here. So the cheating in this video, and the one I'll post second, is violating the agreed match rules. In this particular instance, it's five minute no rush. Basically what that means is allowing entry into the center of the map, and you can get the resources from there, but not someone else's base until five minutes has elapsed. Uh, the purpose of five minute no rush is to make for a more boisterous combat with more units and negates so-called cheap shots. So he built a war factory, and that's, that's fine. But you can see he sent one of the anti-air units into Nate's base, uh, taking out his, his air, air units. Being that he's an air general, uh, air force general, that's uh, pretty disruptive. And he sent one to both sides, so clearly he meant to break this right from the get-go. This wasn't some accidental thing, which can happen with some rules. Some things, some that accidents happen. This is not an accident. Um, and as you can see, he's taking out one or two units. You might think, well, that's not that big a deal. Well, understand, this is at the beginning of the game. Uh, these units are far more valuable at the beginning of the game than uh, where, where money is very tight. Especially since we're gearing up for a five-minute assault. We're not preparing for initial combat, so uh, attacking is very uh, loose. So Nick was able to take that guy out with his tank. And all the, everything was worked out, but, you know... You know, at this point, that is extremely disruptive, and that small incursion could cost us the game. Uh, and so at this point, Lucky sent his units in as well, which is, you know, bad form in this case. I mean, just because your buddy does it doesn't mean all of a sudden five rules. Uh, no, he's also violating the rules. So here you have a, a very large force uh, by Drunk, and this is enough that could finish us off at this point. And I'm fast-forwarding some of those scale bits just to get to the point, and I'll do that on the next video as well. So you might notice I hadn't been in the video yet, and that's because I was building a counterforce. You know, we're, we're, we're of course communicating in the background, and you know I was going to be able, be, I was going to, in a situation, a position to counterattack Drunk 23, and he left his base wide open here. So I of course exploit that. So if this was a coordinated effort by all three, uh, they definitely would have been victorious. I understand there really wasn't a reporting system back in the day, and not much can be done about breaking the social rules, so the only justice you're going to get is beating them after they violate the rules. So here you have Drunk 23 walking into the base, and generally China's units are going to destroy GLA units, but I have the numbers of advantage here. And he did, if, if he moved all his units in one group, he might have been able to take me out. But he screwed up and decided to tango with my my uh, defensive structures, which is just foolish. While he's messing around with that, I mean, I'm going to show his base. And Nick is helping out with some of the units in the center, as much as he can, while Nate's uh, getting his stuff back on, back, back up to uh, working order. But uh, yeah, so at this point, Drunk's uh, main units are gone, and he's definitely gimped. Uh, but you can turn it around if you can take my units out and start consolidating some of his resources back to his own base, and you could stand it back up, but he's losing way too much at this stage. And his last chance here is to take my, my force out, but honestly, he should coalesce his units with his neighbor. Uh, instead, his eyes are wasted in the one of my units. And that's it. And all that's left at Drunk 23 is a few resources. So he's, he's getting money, uh, but it really only has that bulldozer. That's the only thing really keeping him in the game. And he's building a, a power station. Uh, the damage is done. Uh, him violating the rules didn't, didn't uh, give him any favors. And Nick, with very good precision, knew exactly where to do the first bomb and takes Drunk out of game before you can quit. So there you go. So now it is a two on three game and he's put his his uh, teammates in a situation where they're going to have a very difficult time winning this. 
IC uh, is the target of our attack going forward, and unfortunately, IC was the only one of the three of them that was doing what they were supposed to be doing, so it's just an unfortunate situation. Uh, and so, this is really where the video could end. I mean, the moral of the story has been shown, and fortunately, we did get justice, but we'll see how this plays out. Uh, yeah, so Date's back in the speed here when he's able to help Nick out with with uh, Lucky's side attacks here. Uh, but uh, I believe what we do is we take Icy out first, so we're focusing on that one. Yeah, see, in this case, GLA did not have the numbers against against China, so China will win if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Taking out the war factory there, and during this commotion here, Nick was able to get a Black Lotus in here and starts capturing the command center. And that's it. At this point, yeah, IC is well aware they're not going to be able to do much at this point, so I believe, yeah, they quit. And so now that goes to Lucky. So now Lucky is just one on three, and he's had to manage two different bases. I mean, this base isn't trashed, it's but it is very difficult to manage two separate bases. Usually one is a gimped resource, so I commend them for even trying to do anything with this base. And as you can see, once the Black Lotus stops capturing, they go invisible. So you can see how lucky he was trying to run them over. But, yeah, just running over a Black Lotus can be a tall order. But uh, Lucky's trying to manage a uh, attack on the north side right now, so you can't be messing around with a Black Lotus and doing this at the same time. One's elite micro only goes but so far. So they still have some units, but I mean, this is... Lucky is well aware this is just not going to go their way. And there you go. You are victorious. So yeah, I'll release the second cheater vid a little later on. Covers a different cheating angle than this one. And I will see you all then. Thank you all for stopping by.